picture this, you break and enter, steal some goods and admit it in court. Now, on those grounds, most people would probably expect to be found guilty. But not Mark Eden. He spent three days arguing before a judge that he's done nothing wrong. Why? Well, he calls it a rescue rather than a robbery, taking 20 hens from a battery farm, he says, to relieve them from suffering. It's an argument that's actually worked abroad, but here? Jill Higgins looked at whether we're ready to let people off the hook for a crime of compassion. You know, I don't like doing this. It's scary, you know, sneaking into a farm in the middle of the night and falling through shit. It's a horrible thing to do. It's also against the law. It's called burglary, but Mark Eden doesn't see it that way. It's quite different from going and taking someone's TV set or something like that. We wouldn't go in and just willy-nilly and take other people's property, but in this case, we went and took those hens because those hens were suffering and they needed to come out of those cages. Take Rita. She was one of the birds he grabbed from the Turks farm and passed on to a more open home. She's now sharing it with a couple of recent arrivals. Now, it's not hard to see the difference. This bird's been here for about a month now. You can see a lot of the feathers have gone, and that's from rubbing on the other cage mates. And if you spread out the wing, the fibers are absent. There's no oil on them, which gives them such a, a tatty appearance. Now, they hope that this will sort of get back to a normal look, but that could take anything up to a year. I've got some photos to show you. Mounting his own defence, Mark wants to shock the jury into accepting his point of view. Most people don't see what happens in the factory farms, so seeing that footage will be convincing. Not surprisingly, these tactics ruffle a few feathers. Farm owner Ron Turk didn't want to talk to us, but in court, he made his feelings clear. The trial is that you broke into my sheds <laughs> and he pinched chickens. That was the, that's the trial. <laughs> if this is, then you should go to the SPC or the OMEF. He has a point. MAF inspected the Turk poultry farm and it passed. But Mark says New Zealand standards aren't all they're cracked up to be. Most laws are very clear, but this law, there's all sorts of loopholes for the industry. Ultimately, you know, the way we treat animals and way, the way we treat the planet and everything like that has to change. We can't sit around waiting for politicians to fix things. These sorts of arguments have been used successfully elsewhere. In the US, there was an activist who stole some battery chickens and he was cleared of burglary, though he was done for trespass. And there's a similar case in the UK where four women caused millions of dollars worth of damage to a fighter plane. Now, they were acquitted on the grounds that they relieved the suffering of people in East Timor because that's where the plane could have been used. But what about New Zealand? Do they want Mark Eden, this activist, to get the same break? I think what he was doing was right. He did something wrong, but I guess it was for a good cause. Not guilty. Well, if they're in bad conditions, should be getting the SPCA to sort it out. Unfortunately, on the jury, you have to go by evidence. You can't do what you want, what you believe in, so... He would be guilty of theft. She's right. Stay in play. No animal sympathies in play in this Palmerston North courtroom. Mark was found guilty as charged with a sentence of 150 hours community service. So he's down, but the chickens are out. It doesn't matter what happens to me. You know, the movement will carry on. It might take a few years, but we're definitely going to win.